Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is all about setting sprays and I thought I would just do it like this with just the products as the star of the show. So let's go ahead and get started. all of my current setting sprays now i have other hydrating setting sprays primer sprays like the smashbox water primer i have all sorts of like mac priming setting sprays the calming and the vitality setting sprays and I also have the Mario Badescu, one of my faves. But today we're just going to focus on those setting sprays that is supposed to set your makeup and keep it set and fresh throughout the day. So these are the setting sprays that I own. I know it's kind of a lot, but I use different setting sprays depending on the needs of my skin. So sometimes I, I have super dry skin. I might go for a more hydrating setting spray or if I have super oily skin, especially in the summertime or right now where I'm starting to have a lot of breakouts then I would go with a more mattifying setting spray I am going to rank my setting sprays from my least favorite to most favorite I mean a lot of these are pretty much a tie that's why I keep them because if there's a setting spray I don't like I just throw it out because there's no need to be ruining my makeup <laughs> Okay, I spend a long time putting my makeup on and I don't need a setting spray to ruin it. So these are essentially some of my faves, but of course there's some pros and cons to them. My least favorite on this lineup right here is the Milk Blur Spray. Now it's not that it's bad. It's actually amazing at mattifying the skin. Like it has that spray right here. I don't know if you can see that. It has a nice setting spray, but this can be quirky at times. First off, you need to really shake it as hard as you can because if you don't, it actually leaves like white blotchy spots on your face, which I don't like and I totally hate. <laughs> so that's the only bad thing about this. Um, I mean, it's still fixable where I would have to use a sponge to kind of even out the splashes. This is $28. It's supposed to blur your pores, control shine. And I think it blurs pores because it has some dimethicone in it, which helps fill in the pores, which can be a good thing. But if you have acne prone skin, maybe not. Out of all the sprays that I have, I feel like this is the most mattifying, which I can really appreciate. It's vegan, but it's not cruelty free. Now, the only thing too is that although the blur line from Milk Makeup still exists, I do not see this on their website. So it's possible that it's already discontinued. $28 um, and that's kind of pricey. So that's just the reality of this brand. It is a good brand overall. There's a lot of good products that they have come out with. Um, but this one, as far as setting sprays, is probably my least favorite. Next in line. So we're going from least favorite to most favorite. Next one is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I love this during the winter time. Whenever I have dry skin or I have dry patches, I go with this. And hello, this is a drugstore brand. It's $9.99, I believe, at Ulta. So I believe that's the price for Ulta. It can range from $8.99 to $12.99, depending on what store you go to. Milani Make It Last Setting Spray, an oldie but a goodie. It's supposed to keep your makeup crease free for up to 16 hours. Now for me, however, with my oily skin, I don't feel like it's the best at keeping my makeup on. Um, here is the spray. It's not bad. It is a cruelty-free brand, which is amazing and also vegan, and it's made in the USA. Now, I've gone through several bottles of this because it's really that good and it's very affordable. And sometimes I've gotten faulty sprays where it sprays like gigantic splashes onto your face, which 
it's not good like you want your sprays to be as fine as ever now what i love about this is this has been a really big hit but ever since then they have come out with mattifying make it last setting spray and also a dewy version so for all you dry skin folks out there the dewy version i think is going to be best i've never tried it myself but that is definitely a good option this setting spray is more for like the normal skin type I would really love to try their mattifying one, which is in a black bottle, I believe. So definitely, depending on your skin type, you have three three options to choose from. The dewy, regular, normal for normal skin, and also the mattifying one. Next in line, as far as my favorite, is the Morphe Set and Refresh Mist. So this one is pink. It's normally in a black bottle, but this one is a recent collab with Jeffree Star. Now, normally the Morphe Set and Refresh Mist is $16 at Ulta. This one is great for normal to combo skin. So this is gonna deliver radiant finish, not dewy, or luminous but more of a radiant skin so i think it's more true to skin which i like it has one of those aerosol bottle technology so kind of like the hairspray this out of all the bottles that i have has the finest finest mist watch can you even see it maybe not it goes on so smoothly on your face definitely super micro fine mist and I want to say it's even finer than Tarte, which they both have that same, you know, aerosol bottle. It also comes with a luminous finish. I believe it's in a white bottle. And recently they've come out with the mattifying one. So um, the mattifying one is supposed to set your makeup, but also controls shine. Now this one is the radiant finish. It's very hydrating and contains vitamin E. You get a choice of either the luminous finish, the radiant finish, or the mattifying one. So you've got three choices for all skin types. Next one, we're getting to my most favorite, but the next one is the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist. This one right here, it's $23. You can find this at either Sephora, I believe, and also Ulta. This also has that continuous setting spray mist, but like I said, I feel like the Morphe one is a little bit more finer when it comes to the mist. Tarte is big on this maracuja oil. They use that in a lot of their makeup products. Also, one thing I wanted to add is that with the aerosol technology, no product goes to waste. So that means every little drop is going to be used up. Unlike some bottles like this, you know, the tube might not make it all the way to the bottom or grab every last drop. So you get your money's worth. You're definitely going to get an empty can here when you're done. This one delivers a natural 12 hour radiant finish. It makes your makeup waterproof to avoid fading and cracking. And that's what I love about this. Even though it delivers a radiant finish, it has that waterproof technology. It makes your makeup last longer. And I find that it really does compared to the Morphe one. And for me, actually, it's not even really a radiant finish. It's more between matte and radiant. So it's just a perfect balance for me. It contains papaya which also helps firm and brighten the skin. It also has rose water and cucumber, which helps maintain the skin's pH balance. So there's a lot of good ingredients here. This is also vegan, guys. Vegan makeup product, and it's dermatology tested. And I think of all of the six setting sprays that I have, it's the only one that says dermatology tested. Let me scooch everything over. Next one is the ColourPop All-Star Face Setting Spray. So this is my second favorite out of all the six. Not bad ColourPop, but big serious but. Is it discontinued? If you've seen the All-Star line from ColourPop, please let me know. This has serious serious staying power they call this the all-star line because it's supposed to be the best of the best so it has a nice mist it's not the finest but it's definitely one of the best because i can no longer find this on the website i can't give you an exact price and i don't remember how much i bought it for this is alcohol free so i thought that it kept my makeup on 
so long and mattified that I thought it had alcohol in it, like, you know, hairspray for the face, but it does not contain alcohol. It is cruelty-free. They have hydrating, natural, and mattifying setting mist that's available at ColourPop right now. They're $12 a piece. Definitely check ColourPop out. I really want to compare this with their mattifying setting mist. So it's an affordable, affordable range. So I'm happy that ColourPop got second place. The final and my most favorite setting spray is the Urban Decay All Nighter. It's no surprise to anyone. This is like a cult favorite for all makeup lovers. This is $33 at Sephora. It is one of the more expensive ones. It has Allure's Best of Beauty Award. This one is great at controlling and absorbing the oils. Here's the spray. It sprays your face very evenly, so I like that. There is no scent to this. It doesn't just set your makeup, but it also absorbs oil throughout the day keeps your makeup waterproof. This is also vegan and cruelty free. What I like about this, and I didn't even really know about it until I did the research, um, is that it has a temperature technology which lowers the temperature of makeup. Now, I find that there are some makeup that makes my face heat up. And I've never really pinpointed which one it is. There are times where I produce more oils than normal. I love at how good it balances the skin and definitely prolongs my makeup. Okay, so that is it guys. Just to recap, my number one favorite out of this lineup is the Urban Decay All Nighter. Second is the ColourPop. Third is the Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist. Next is the Morphe Set and Refresh Mist. Then Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And then the last one is the Milk Makeup. I love all of these setting sprays that I have right now. It's just that there are some setting sprays that I gravitate towards more than others. So they're not bad, they're all great. If you see these on sale at the stores, grab it. They are Terry's Corner approved. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I post videos once a week on skincare and beauty reviews as well as some unboxings here and there. So definitely be on the lookout. Stay tuned for more videos. March is going to be an amazing month because it is my birthday month. So I'm so excited. I have so many videos planned for you guys. So many exciting videos. And with that said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll definitely see you back in my corner soon. Bye.